Coleman? Here. Terry Downing? Yep. Eli Badger? Here. Jeanette Stewart? Here. And also present is Charlie. Okay. Um, did Sherry get her new budget yes. thing? Yes. Okay. Right. And also, did everybody get the one, the library one? Yeah. Yes, it's in. It's in there. Yeah. Should be because we have that mm. now too. Oh, okay. So at 5.30, we are going to introduce Silhaville, and at 5.45, we are going to interview David, not sure how to pronounce his name, Jung, I don't know, Unkster, he'll, tell us. he'll <laughs> tell us how to pronounce it. Um, before we start, does anybody have anything to say or any questions? I got questions. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, Luke. Uh, last meeting, I asked about the $500 reduction between uh, August, September, and the fire department. Uh, yeah, fire that was the that was the error on the uh, hazard stipend pay. Error on the what? I'm sorry. Hazard stipend pay. Uh, in March, about thereof, the governor gave out a hazard stipend pay to the first responders. I thought that stipend pay was already paid. Well, it was. It was, it was just. It was just. She's got. She's got separate. She's got separate lines in the back yeah. of the budget. For yeah. shot. For. Uh, well, it was thing. just a, a code and error in the payroll. But what I'm saying, the other thing is, it's a five thousand dollar reduction. You can't reduce this, what's already been paid for salaries. I'm but confused. it was five hundred dollars less yeah. in September yeah, than it was in August. August. So I can show you that. The problem is if somebody miscodes it, it really screws everything up. Because you have to find it and then you find the miscode and then you have to put it under the right code. And so is it right now? I'd have to look up. Yeah, Captain was off last week. I'll have to look up. It's, it's, refresh my memory which line item it was, Lee. I'm sorry. Which line item it was? Um uh, 422 10 110. Obviously, 01. Okay. 422 zero. 422 10 110. And it was off from $500. It's, five, it's showing five hundred dollars less, less in September than what was paid in August. Okay. Ty, my my question on the budget is: Is the bottom line still the same? Because one of the slotmen told me that you increased it. That yeah. Was, well, that the slotmen increased it. That they increased. Yeah, we increased the fire department than right. what I originally had. Yes. So that must increase the bottom line. No. <laughs> well, sure. I mean, depends on which. Well, let me take a step back. Which bottom line are we referring to? The the whole bottom line, the the total budget. Because if you increase something in a department, it's going to increase the bottom line. There's nothing else to do. That's why I'm asking. If not, on the over on the overall me, budget. An increase, uh, it bumped it up. That's right. We have to figure out which one you're talking about, which set of papers you're talking about. But the uh, did you ask? We did not change anything on the fire department's uh, payroll line. Let me, let me, all right. Initially, the fire department asked for $195,000 on their salary line, which is in your budget, right? Uh, that salary line, I initially said, um, 
I'm willing to recommend 3% of the 177, okay? The fire chief came back to me and said, uh, he asked me to revisit it. And I said, okay, please show me how you came up with the 195,000. And he broke it out to, it averages out to about $15.60 an hour for per diem, okay? And then if you take that by over nine hours a day times two people and then you add in the salaries of the chief and the on-call and the deputy it came to 183,000 right and I said great but let's also still add in the three percent so that's where we came up with 193 that's the increase so the bottom line increase was the increase that I originally recommended until we sat down and talked with the selectmen last night and we all decided to come up from the original proposed. Now, what about, it, it's not welfare, it's under, uh, what is it under? Welfare. Is it under welfare or is it, tonight, is it something else? Mm -hmm. I thought you weren't supposed to say welfare anymore. It's still in there as welfare. Do you know what page it's on? Let's see. Here's the page one. Page one. No, not that. Her separate one. Um, hmm. Oh, general assistance. General seven. What'd you get, David? 87? 37. 37. Page number. It is no longer called welfare. <laughs> Uh -huh. 37. This yeah. book, Sherry. This one. The one I just passed. talking about the new book. The reason I'm asking is because last year the budget committee voted to give her a raise. Okay. Because a default budget was voted in, when I mentioned it to you about a raise yeah. and asked you to bring it up to selectmen. Her raise is in there. Well, how can a raise be in there? We went from 6000 to 7000 on the salary line. Correct. Okay. So is that a 3%? Well, it was from last year. So I don't know. Because she hasn't gotten a raise for a long time. I think it's over 3%. It's over yeah. 3%. Yeah, certainly. One, six. Yeah, it's a lot better than 3%. Okay, yeah. well, hers isn't per hour anyway. It's tight. It's tight. Yeah. Okay, I just needed to know that because before, even though the budget committee voted it in because it was a default budget, she never got it. Mm -hmm. So when are we going to meet with the department heads? Has that been figured out yet or? Whenever they're ready. <laughs> sure. I mean, <laughs> again, like I said at the beginning, the selectmen reduced the budget from last year, $8,000 and the default budget, is, their budget is $60,000 low, lower than the, than the default budget. Sure. Sherry? I actually have two questions. But first, as I kind of scroll through this, how much does this cost for a copy? Because the pretty colored pictures are nice, mm -hmm. but aren't we like trying to save money? I mean, I know it. I don't need a picture of the um the okay. bridge. So when I print yours I out, I'll print it out in black and white. Picture of, well, no, but I don't need a picture of the train station. I don't need a picture of the bridge. No, I like the train station. I mean, the, <laughs> no, I get it, but I would actually like to know how much it costs per copy of this. This. I think it was and, less and than a less than a thing. Less than what? Less than a nickel. Uh, a color page. I have to go back and look at the contract. Our contract is black and white is up to a certain amount, ten thousand, I think, it, what it is a month. And color is less than it's less than a nickel a page. 
Oh, I'm just curious. I mean, this is beautiful. I'm not saying it's not nice or whatever, yeah. but yeah. it's in the uh, it's in the agreement. Uh, they do charge us for color. But my feeling is, it's not that not only goes to us, that goes to the uh, registered voters if they want one. No, is that yeah. correct? No, yes, ma'am. It's it's so going, It's for the my town. My feeling is, if we're going to pass out something, it needs to look. It's for the town. Um, yeah. Professional. Yeah. Rather than just yeah. do, a, do a rather than just do a quick yeah. job. That was the goal tonight is to make it work more professional. Okay. Yeah. It took me a couple months to put all that together. Cool. Okay. So. All right, next question. Yeah. Um, are we interviewing all the people, um, the two people candidates before we elect one, or are we just gonna sham it and Go we're going like to we're going to interview one at five thirty, one at five forty. Excuse me, I'm not done with my question. Sorry, I'm not done with my question. I'm sorry. Can I ask my question? Go ahead. I would like to know if we're interviewing both candidates mm -hmm. first and then nominating one for a position on the budget committee. Or is it going to be like the BOS and the trustee meetings where they start interviewing people and nominate someone and bing, bang, boom, they're your person. So I guess my concern is, are we going to hear from both candidates first and then nominate one? In the email that I sent you, it said that we are interviewing one at 530 and we are interviewing the other one at 545 and they will then they will leave and we'll vote one in. Um, okay, thank you. You're welcome. I got another question. Yeah, go ahead. Um, the union agreement and the town report, that's article 18. Yeah. Uh, does that include the utilities? Uh, not the utilities in the electric budget it does. I'm sorry. Yeah, an electric to budget it does. Is included in that? Yeah. Then why are we including electric when they have their own revenues? No, no, no. And the un hold on. The union raises because the union has town employees, water and sewer, and electric. Yep. Those. They're separated out by department. Okay. Right. That's in here. That's in your budget. But what I'm saying is, is in the town report, it, it was a warrant article for, I think, 17,000. That 17,000 didn't include the water, sewer, and electric. Okay. It doesn't include your children. No. Okay. Now I have another question because last week, our last meeting, you said it was uh, cola plus 2%. No, it was. Cola was 2% and then the step was a 1%. Okay, but it doesn't, I have a problem with the transparency because it does not say that in those warrant articles. It should have indicated Cola. Oh. It doesn't say that, it just says pay rates. Yeah, I don't know. The, the, those, those are, I got told before those are, uh, well, I mean, that's in the CBA. Uh, first of all, that anyone can want to look up the CBA for all the towns is at the Department of Labor's website. Uh, Ashland CBA is certainly there. Uh, those articles, the way that they're written, are all template from DRA. That's. Lee, explain I, I to I me. Like it, but that's okay. No, explain to me why COLA has to be included. Because COLA could be 5%. COLA could be 1.5%. Yeah. Oh, okay. It could be any percentage in there. Okay. Yeah. That's why I'm asking why didn't it say call up plus the other percent? Yeah. Okay. True. Sure. I got one more question. Go ahead. Uh, you can have as many as you want. <laughs> no quota? <laughs> it, it appears, and I'm only saying it appears. The electric department has spent approximately five hundred thousand dollars more than has brought in, in the first eight months of revenues mm -hmm. at the eight month level. Are the town taxes subsidizing the electric department? No. 
How, how could we subsidize? No. Well, if they're bringing in five hundred thousand dollars more, roughly. <coughs> roughly yeah. If they're if they're bringing in five hundred thousand dollars less than what they're spending, they don't have that kind of money back in a month. Yeah. I don't know how they're spending five hundred thousand dollars. I mean, that's well, a, that's a high number for. And that's why I'm asking. Um, that's why I asked last meeting. We need the revenues along with the expenditures. Yeah. So we can actually physically look right. month per month. Yeah. This has been a disaster the way it's laid out. It's getting corrected, I know, for next yeah. month. Yeah. Yeah. But I went back, I looked at the revenues through um, September because that would be listed right. as of 10 1 right. for the most part. Yeah. I did <clears throat> excuse me, took that and divided it by that number and then multiply that right. single number by eight. Yeah. By eight. Right. I'm sorry. That that would reflect that 10 one would reflect the eight, not the nine. Yes. Yeah. So I took the expenditures yeah. through nine, divided that, and then multiplied that times eight, and that's why I'm coming up at five hundred thousand dollar difference. Yeah, that's yeah. That's huge. That's huge. I don't know where he came up with 500. I mean, we can ask finance to look into it. I, there's no way I would, that, that's high. $500,000. I mean, the that. department would be really in serious trouble. I, I mean, the, the town could not subsidize that. The no. last time I talked to the treasurer about the cash, who forewarned me, was about two weeks ago. And the town side had about seven hundred thousand dollars in cash, and for us to just supplement five hundred thousand dollars, no way. It would be this illegal, is, anyways. You know, by the state law. Right. Yeah. I just noticed something, Sherry. You have to have a mask on. I moved yeah. back, so I wouldn't have to. Be you down still have to have a mask on. From you guys. I told the selectman, and I put it in my first email that if we're going to use this room, that we will be wearing a mask. You got it. So we'll still look into the revenues. Okay, thank you. That's, I've got it for AD. Sandra, do you have any questions? Uh, Not too <coughs> David, well, I just got this. So are we gonna? Well, so another thing, the one he gave us. Us. Yeah. it's the one. Yeah. It's the same as the one he gave us the other night. No, it's not. No, it's, it's not. not. It's well, it's just about the same. No, it's well, not. Well, no, it's got the graphs. <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, we also included, we increased money for the library. Yeah, thank you. Uh, the library came back and asked for 81 to help pay for expenses in relation to general expenses. Um, initially, I, you asked me at the last meeting, David, the 68,000 that I yeah. put in there, uh, funding, we yeah. reconsidered and gave the uh, like everyone else, three percent across the board to the salary line, and we added seventy five hundred dollars to the general expense line. Then how can you not increase the budget that you gave us if you're doing all that? I guess you can say it is, but I'm thinking I did not increase the budget from last year. That's not what I said. Oh, okay. I said, did you make? I I asked you at the yeah. beginning. Sure. I, I, maybe people weren't here. But I asked you yep. if there was a change in the bottom line so to the there, figures you gave us okay, a couple of weeks ago, sure. and you said no. All right. I was confused. I thought you meant the budget last year because I'm saying, if you're saying the budget that I proposed is different than last week, yes, it is. All right, that's okay. Yes, it is. But the overall proposed budget for me and the selectmen is lower than last year. I know that. You know, but what I was that's what saying, I'm just trying to say. I understand. Are there yeah. changes from yeah. two weeks yeah. ago when you gave us yeah. this? Yeah. That's why when yeah. I when, that's why yeah. I said, David, yeah. there's no changes because right. Charlie yeah. said, yeah. no, the, the bottom line stays yeah. the same. Sorry, Unless you're increasing things, yeah. the bottom line yeah. can't stay the same. Yeah. Sorry, I'm confused. And that's why that was a draft. Um, okay. That was a draft. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Sure. I'm curious what the lawyer had to say about the um, library, because if the library becomes a burden of the town, it is to be a green piece according to the will. Mm -hmm. So how can the library ask the town mm -hmm. to pay all their bills when mm -hmm. that's what the Scrivener 
And the Scribner, excuse me, hang on. Okay, okay. you're finished, though. Thank you. Okay. Yep. Because it's a will. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm sorry, if you died or you died, wouldn't you want your last wishes to be met, especially by a town that was given a building? Um, I, I apologize because I tried to get a copy of the will today um, and it didn't come through, but it, in saying the statement, the library has now become a burden on the town and that Scribner fund is for the maintenance of the building. It's not for a retirement fund mm -hmm. for whomever thinks that the trustee chair can make it. There's enough money in there to sustain the building maintenance as it has in years past. Well, uh, first, the interpretation of the will is is has been different from the Scribner trustees and the others, including the town attorney at a various time. There's a word in there that says the Scribner trust fund can only be used for this property, right? And some people interpreted that mean that no other money could be used on the property. But the lawyers and the library trustees look at it and say, means only that the Scribner trust money cannot be spent elsewhere. You can't use the Scribner trust money to buy a fire truck or to fix a road. You can only spend it on the property. So that's a, a difference of opinion, which could probably only be settled by a probate court judge. But uh, yeah. so, so, I mean, there is no re requirement that the building be torn down or that no other money be spent on the building outside the Scribner Trust. I mean, that's our interpretation. So you can argue it, but. David, I believe years and years ago that they took the deed to court and that's when they said they could use it as a library. Is that correct? Yeah, they went to um, the original will said a community center and a park. Mm -hmm. So they went to court and they said, OK, well, a library is close enough. And they also think, I think they also argued that by that time when they were talking about it, uh, the, the Booster Clubhouse had been built and the um, gym had been built. So the need that was there in the 30s is no longer there in the 50s. So, um, so the probate court judge just allowed the library. The library actually moved in as soon as the building opened and along with a couple other things which sort of faded away over the years like the District Nurse Association office and little historical oh, museum. Right, yeah. yeah, some people, other people used it, but it ended up just being the library. Um, sure. Sherry. Um, I, I just have one question. Is this um, meeting being recorded? Yes. Because I can't find the BOS, um, the October 19th meeting. Yeah. Um, was that recorded? I mean, I'm sorry. I just want to make sure this is being recorded. It's recording up there. Uh, we're, PBTV should be posting the meetings. So PBTV uh, is the ones that post to YouTube, not. All not right. Us. I mean, I don't know how all this technology. Yeah. Somebody, I think, has to record it from this yeah. end. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. I just know that I was looking for other meetings, yeah. Yeah. and it just dawned on me that yeah. David's information and whatever from my question is very valuable. So I wanted to make sure that this meeting was being recorded, so yeah. the public can actually see the response to the, the, the last meeting was too and it's supposed yeah. to be put it will be put on the website yeah. correct yeah and this one will too yeah. okay and our last meeting was how many days ago two weeks ago yeah. Yeah. Uh, -huh. uh sandra i i'm just looking at this from tonight but um with the electric department who is the department head that will come to the meeting me or craig moore probably me or craig moore so what is Craig's position actually? Is he the He's the DPW director. And so he's temporarily overseeing the electric department. Okay. Now is he getting paid extra for that? Mm -hmm. Is that separate or is it just yeah. included? Uh, it comes out of the electric department budget. Okay. okay. Is that the thirty nine hundred? No, it's five grand. Um 
then well, so if you were paying a real superintendent, how much would that be? Well, our superintendent made ninety-five thousand a year. Okay, and Greg gets it for five. <laughs> okay, it's just temporary. Yeah, right. but there's a little bit more. Uh, being a superintendent's a little bit different than um, being the temporary guy. We can speak to it. <laughs> being uh, a manager, so to speak. Uh, Sure. A lot of knowledge and expertise. Oh, you had your hand up. You so no, I, I realize you need a, yeah. a Sandra? Yeah. person who knows this stuff. Yeah. Just a minute, Sandra. Yeah. But we, we, we decided at the time to go to temporarily. The last superintendent resigned. We're reassessing, um, honestly, whether or not we even go that route of hiring a superintendent again. Oh. Who um, inputted the figures for the budget for the electric department? Who? Oh, I probably me. I would have guessed. How did you come up with some of the Ooh. figures? Oh, oh, so I put them in there, but the, Rob, before he left, he prepared the budget. He was still here, and he he prepared the budget before he left. There's a lot of lines that. I don't understand as to yeah. why they've been increased yeah. so much. Right. You know, um, I was able to get I was able to get a little bit of information from him to explain those. If you see those little red uh, dots on there, those yeah. are my I saw a couple. Those are my notes. So I, I mean I can when we get there I can pull it up, Sandra and Sandra, what page are you on? It. Uh, 51. 51. Thank you. It's just that I saw that, you yeah, know, like yeah, for um, yeah. he, he Fortunately, he prepared the budget before he left. Uh, we were able to get as much as we could out of him. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so I can do my best to explain it to everyone. Yeah, it's it's just that I would have like equipment maintenance, yeah. you know, that that's in there. That's in there. Yeah, um, I think Sandra brought up on the electric department last week. I think she brought up about the depreciation figure and you were going to check on that. Is that right? Sandra? Depreciation's not in there. We haven't expended it in the past. It's certainly something it's been taken out. Yeah, yeah. I mean, overall, the budget for the electric department is down. Uh, it was 3.2 million last year. We dropped it to about 2.8. Well, you only, you didn't really drop it. It's because of the bond being paid off. Yeah. But as far True. as yeah. the yeah. bond, you yeah. know. And but we might, re we might revisit it before because we're looking into new meters and we might budget for new meters. I mean, that's, that's probably two, $300,000 expense. Um, you know, we can certainly reconsider the uh, depreciation to okay. which you're right that would bring it up well three million well even like vehicle rental yeah. I mean where um maintenance I mean a lot of these lines have been mm -hmm. truly increased right. even though the bottom line is lower but right. yeah um yeah and I I just don't know you know like what what equipment may equipment maintenance for fifteen thousand? Why? I'd have to look into it. Okay. I don't know All right. So I have to look at the rest of the budget. So I mean, I was just looking at. Right. Okay, Lee is next. I got a couple of things with with the electric department. Yeah. I, I like Craig. He is not at all qualified for mm -hmm. that position. He is not. He doesn't. I wrote those specs up. Right. He doesn't even begin to be qualified for that position. He should not be paid. Also, in your union contract, you can bump somebody up right. and pay them an additional 5%. That's what you need to do to put somebody as, say, a working foreman mm. and take Craig away from it because he's not qualified. He's not answering call out. Yeah. Boom. No. He, he, you know, he's not, he's not at all qualified. Now this let me I mean, prove that 5,000. I'm not here to talk about staffing. I'm only here to really talk about the budget. Oh, well, it's got to do with right. budget? I it's mean, so. But the selectman approved that 5,000 for, for the, uh, uh, the. No, uh, I approved it for now. Okay, I, that isn't what I asked you. I asked him if they did. No. 
Uh, I've got one other question, ahead, and that's for David. So, on your budget, the library on your budget, your your property expenses. Oh, the heating, fuel, fire alarm monitoring, fire alarm phone line, and general maintenance. Mm -hmm. This has all been paid by the Scrimmage trustees in the past. Right. What does that got to do with the library now? Because that in, that increases the tax rate by approximately three and a half cents. Right. Those the, figures. The problem is the Scrivener Trust is. That is responsibility of the Scrivener Trust. Who's is, paying for the new roof? They're putting a new roof on it today. That's a very good question, actually. Uh, <laughs> because the, you're, the you're, Scrivener Trust is really. I, I don't know how to explain this quickly, but. Um, and I'm not really involved as a Scribner trustee. Correct? From what I believe happened is that Scribner Trust uh, liquidated money to pay for the roof. Right. They paid Before. from the principal. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what happened was the principal, what, how much should be in the principal has suddenly changed. Mm -hmm. After years, where everybody thought it was the amount that MS Scribner had left in 1939, whatever that was like $40,000 plus. Uh, but Recently, the state, the uh, Attorney General's Office Charitable Trust Division has told the Scrivener trustees that it should have been the 40,000 plus appreciation over the years, which is like 80 years. And now nobody knows what the principal is, and therefore nobody knows what income is available to spend. So the town attorney has now told the Scrivener trustees they should stop spending money. And they have a con you know they have roofers out there doing the roof and they have they have to fill the oil tank and pay these bills for the telephone lines and the fire line and but she'd already taken the money out of that sherry please don't interrupt unless you call them I'm well sorry. she has <laughs> she has taken some money out of the bank uh well put in a checking account but i guess the attorneys are saying don't spend it and everybody's sort of at this point not knowing who's going to pay oh, for wow. the roof. Uh, so it's now in the hands of the the town attorneys. Well, uh, yeah. so it was advised, you know, maybe you don't spend if you're trying to liquidate the trust right before it's settled out through probate. Right. Bas basically, there's a whole but because the part there they came to the selectmen last meeting and asked. To take the steps to liquidate, minute, to liquidate and everything. Uh, well, there was the Scrivener trustees are asking for that. The library yes. trustees are asking if the trust fund continue, yeah. but we don't know what that means. Or yeah. Yeah. The, it's all been confused about this issue of whether they should have been accumulating money over the years to keep uh, the trust up, because right. um, yeah. they haven't done it for eighty years. And now, what's what is the principal and sure. what is not? Mm -hmm. Um, so somebody's, well, somebody's got to pay it. You're right. Uh, the question is who? <laughs> uh, Jeanette, you're absolutely right. I mean, what do you, what do you, uh, you know? Somebody's got to what pay it. What does the attorney advise about paying the bill? He says not to pay it? No. No, I don't, no, it doesn't. I mean, what is he advising them? It sounds like he's advising them not to use any of their money. That's different from not paying the bill. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Somebody's going to pay the bill. Yeah. Yeah. The bill will be paid, but yeah. the question is who uh, is going to pay the bill. But you're saying the trustee is going to liquidate the trust? Yeah, the Scrivener trustees do. The library trustees would like but the fund to remain what I'm asking is, and is, still be used for the Scrivener property. Um, if they if they liquidate the trust, there is no trust anymore. Right. So, so you don't need the trustees. It falls into the hands of the town, or it reverts back to the the mm -hmm. uh, relatives of the yeah. scrivners. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah. So the scrivener trustees are suggesting that the money be given to the library trustees, and the library trustees have the full responsibility for the property. Uh, and the library trustees are saying we don't want to be investing that money. That's the trustees of trust funds should be doing that. We'll be happy to spend it, but 
uh, we don't want to be the investors, and we think the fund should continue and for its original purpose, which was to maintain the property, which was Emma's purpose, whatever use it might be used for. But the problem is uh, the fund cannot, apparently is not going to be able to pay this stuff next year. So that's why it's going to the town in some fashion. Um, I don't think I don't agree with next year because it just says right here it says buildings, building right. on the bottom line, building well, right on the bottom line. That like that Lee, means the roof. Well, yeah, we put seventy five hundred back into the budget for the maintenance right. because of this. They asked for eighty one thousand and we came up to seventy seven four sixty eight. Again, our budget is below. The voted budget last year. When your budget's lower, good chance you're not having a tax increase. So there's a well, result. it's lower than the default budget, correct? Yeah. And the voted budget. Okay. So Sherry, wait a minute, David. Okay. Sherry's not Sherry. So bottom line, now the library is a burden to the town. Basically, bottom line, the library wants the town to pay for their operating expenses, That's... which means it's a burden on the town. It's yes always, or no? It's always been a burden on the town since the first year it started opening. It was a budget line, and uh, you know you you paid money to run the library. Yeah. Well, so, the town owns yeah. the building, right? So yeah. Yeah. that's the way it goes. <laughs> well, if the town but, owns the building, then why do you have trust, Scribner trustees? Mm -hmm. Because and that's the way. way it's set up. Up. My that's, understanding. Wait a minute. Is, hold on a minute. That's the way it's set up, right? It was set up mm -hmm. by but, a vote of the town. Yeah. Emma Scribner asked in her will that a, a set of trustees be set up to run the property and take care of the fund. Uh, so that worked for a while, but now the fund is so depleted. The question is, the Scribner trustees are essentially giving up, uh, mm -hmm. you know, saying yeah. we don't have the money to run this thing anymore. The income is not sufficient, and. If, if in fact the, they have spent the principal, there is a theory that all you can do with the fund is let it sit until it, it reaches the, whatever the principal is supposed to be. Okay, I just want to say one thing before Sherry talks. I'll let David in. Uh, Sue's not going to make it. John's mother uh, is not well and they had mm -hmm. to rush her to the hospital. Oh, so oh. she doesn't want to come to the meeting and then mm -hmm. have something happen. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, Sherry? Um, didn't Amanda not take Ken Grand out of the Scribner Trust recently? There is, I'm not sure. But I, there is Ken, Ken Grand in the checking account the at room. the moment, I believe. And that was to pay for the roof. And But she's apparently getting this conflicting advice that she shouldn't spend it. So but she at, has already taken Ken Grand out of that account. Yeah. Well, it's just yes. been moved from the trust fund to a checking account so it could that's be said, taking it out of the account yes so is that a yes or a no yes she's taken money out of the account and put it in a spendable account right thank you but she hasn't spent it yet. thank you <laughs> and it's a it's just a dilemma right now for everybody is until we get legal advice to right. say what what do you do next and what can you do and um so for the moment, it appears that the library is going to have to pay the expenses of the building. Which they don't have they the money. Should. Well, that's why we need the budget <laughs> increase. They don't have the money. Um, well, hopefully they'll work something out. I, I would think, we would think that that fund should be able to produce some amount of money every year, but it's not going to, $40,000 if that's what's in the fund is not going to produce a lot of money in income or even 50 or 60,000, whatever is left. We don't, it's a little unclear what's going to be left. Uh, it's not going to produce, cover all the expenses of building. Are the Scribner trustees still keeping insurance on the building? No, fortunately the new ones decided not to double insure the building <laughs> and they also dropped their stipends, which apparently cost over over the last couple of decades, like $20,000 of the trust went into stipends to the trustees, which 
really riles up some of the Scribner trustees now. So, uh, and that double insurance, we never quite understood that. Yeah. Um, well, I think theirs paid for, I think I was paid for like certain things and then theirs paid for certain things. So it wasn't doubling. Actually it was. No, because when they, when uh, Paul Branscombe was there, he went over it with me with the insurance person. Mm -hmm. And they said, no, it was not doubling. They were not covering the same things. Like some was the anything on the inside, you know, some was the outside, some was like the computer, stuff like that. So it wasn't really doubling up on it. More well, uh, different times, it may have been different. I don't know. So are you saying there was two insurance companies? Right. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Definitely two, All right. two different ones. Um, what I'm going to do, if you don't mind, Lee, I'm going to ask sure. David to come in because he's here and yeah, Sue's sure. not going to make it tonight because of an emergency. So we do have her uh, resume, but I'm going to ask David to come in. That way we can get this done and then we can uh, go on with the meeting. Before we come, when did you water the light bulbs for the... A week ago yesterday? Last Monday, I think. A week ago yesterday. Yeah. Why was the electric department there today? Where? I have no idea what you're talking about. That's at, at <laughs> not my house, but at the poles. You mean they're changing the light out? I'm just saying that the department was there. But they they might have. I mean, I don't even know where you're talking about. Which street? My street. Oh, I don't know where is an outage on North Ashton Road today about oh gosh 11 there's an outage oh I know we did have we had no this was, it was two street lights out on uh, uh, Main Street but everybody be able to see you very dark Okay, this is David Unice. He lives uh, on Highland Street, correct? Six Hill. Six Hill. Yeah. And uh, he's one of uh, the residents that would like to be a member of the budget committee. Mm -hmm. yeah. They all have your uh, resume. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. I guess. I'm Lee Nichols. Lee. Hi. I actually watched I was the, just say, on, on the other day to get oh, a little bit more familiar. Okay, right. Lee Nichols, David Rule, okay. Charlie's town manager, oh. Sandra Coleman, okay. Sherry Downing, and myself. Welcome. Thank I you. figured I'd start that. <laughs> yeah, that okay. helps. I guess my first question as chairman of the board is why did you decide you would like to be on the budget? I, I heard there was an opening until I guess till the elections, right? Until the March, April time right. frame. So, yeah. um, I thought it'd be a great opportunity to get involved with the town. We've been here for about five years now. Um, uh, yeah, we bought the house in 2015. Prior to that, I was in Guilford for about a year. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it's a great way to get involved in the town and, and learn more about the town and be able to help out you know, and offer my assistance where I can. Um, and it sounds like a great opportunity because it's more of a temporary type position too. So something to get to know you and, and you get to know me. Mm -hmm. Please? Uh, Question one. I have two questions. Can't remember now. <laughs> you didn't write them down. <laughs> no, like a dumb dumb. Um, I take it you're an independent thinker. Uh, Are you an independent thinker? I am. Yeah, I like to think so. Right. For the most part. Um. Yeah, I would think. I would think. Uh, yeah, I would say independent. Sure. Um. I'm not going to make decisions just because of, you know, just to go along with what everyone else is doing. Okay. Um, yeah, so I would think, and, and, yeah, absolutely. Critical thinker. I'll think of the other one. Then. Go ahead. David? Uh, do you have a lot of experience? What experience do you have with budgets? Uh, so budgets would be from a sales perspective. Um, I'm on the other side of it now where I'm actually looking to you know, sell products. So understanding a budget for, well, what I do now is the federal government, but understanding um, budgeting from a forecast perspective, trying to understand, say, what quotas are going to be set and that type of thing to understand you know, what we're going to do next quarter, um, next week, or possibly next year with regard to you know, sales of certain technology products. So I think it kind of ties in a little bit with budgeting. 
um, but from the other side, uh, you know, the, the Ohio. Okay. Sam, do you know how the budget works? Um, I'm learning. I'm watching the, the videos. I did get a, I'm, I'm more interested too. So I did, you know, oh, to, to kind of start reading up on it and get, just get a little better understanding of how New Hampshire does it and how, you know, more of a, a formal um, public sector budget would be set up and what goes into it. So it's fascinating to listen to, I think it was an hour and 37 minutes, the last meeting too, and just what you all went through. And, you know, um, yeah, it's fascinating. It definitely sounds incredibly complicated um, and it's a pretty you know, large budget so understanding where everything goes I'm sure there are appropriations right that you make based on the previous year what you're going to look at the following year and then all the other things are kind of coming into play so, do you know who the budget belongs to from no i don't know if i so it comes down it comes to the committee right from charlie from the selectman from the selectman right okay mm -hmm. um and then uh and the one thing I'm not 100% clear on is how the budget committee works with that. If it's New Hampshire where it's, does the budget committee, <coughs> committee have control over what happens with the budget or is it more no. and more? No, no I yes. think so, okay. Yes, no. yes, it does. The budget belongs to the budget committee okay. until it goes to a vote in March. And then in March, the town votes on the budget okay. and then it belongs to the people okay. and therefore it belongs to the board of thought and okay. the town manager and what but up until then the budget is ours and we do have input as you well you'll be getting probably one of these but but in in the budget there is um the manager's budget mm -hmm. there's the board of selectmen's budget and there's the for um the budget committee's budget and we formulate we meet and we formulate the budget okay. and we meet with the department heads we meet with the town manager we can meet with the board of selectmen but it is our budget okay we're an elected budget committee okay. we're not an appointed right not appointed okay. right and there's there is a big difference okay. But I think what you asked, like once it's voted on by the town, the budget committee has no control as to where the money is spent. I did say that. They have no control as to where it's spent. And it's a bottom line budget. So even if like, say we voted in a raise on a certain line, right. if the selectmen decided they didn't want to give that raise, they don't have to, it's a bottom line figure. Or they can increase a line that we didn't increase if they want. Right. And I saw that on what I was watching the other day too. So the bottom line is basically it's one lump sum. Right. Now that's actually spent throughout right. the year really mm -hmm. comes in. As spring. long as you don't go over, as long as they don't go over that bottom line, they're fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a 10% yeah. rule. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, the 10% well, rule is there, for there, what can be voted. Goes when it's right. voted. When it's right. voted. Right. Right. Yeah. right. I didn't want to confuse it. One, one thing you didn't mention was at the town meeting, the town meeting can either increase or decrease the budget yeah. at the town meeting. Right, because we're an SB2 as well. Right. So and, an then, and then yes. that goes to the voters. Mm -hmm. And the SB2 is? And usually in February, have you set the date for this year? Yet? The deliberative yes. session is February 6th. The deliberative right. session is where the town comes together and um, looks at all the articles. And then once that's determined, then it goes to vote in March. Okay. SB2 is just a term called Senate Bill 2, right. which is basically ballot voting. Okay. Other traditional town meeting is when they get together and you raise your hand and say, I. We used to have town meetings, but then it was voted on. And so we haven't had a town meeting. It's just ballot. It's just ballot. ballot I need mine. So a deliberative session can amend, but you can't uh, decide, uh, essentially. That's right. The voters have to vote on it. Terry, did you have anything? No, other than are you crazy? Um, and um, we do, like, to our budget meetings and everything, are you OK um, with doing that and being able to meet certain nights? or? During yeah, the week is that gonna hinder your schedule? Or no, it's I'm, I'm typically nine to five right now for the most part. Um, so I do COVID has, has thrown a wrench in the travel that I typically do. Um, so I do travel, I 
cover the country um, for Department of Energy and NASA. So you can imagine they're kind of all over the country. Mm -hmm. um, but um, that's probably not going to happen until at least June or July. And then we're even hearing rumors now that, you know, some people are talking about into the next year. So mm -hmm. basically all my customers are similar to you. They're not SLED, state and local. They are federal, but it's the same thing. They're not going on site. You know, they're not really there. Mm -hmm. So with that, yeah, nine to five, you know, I could even come in a little earlier too. I just need to know. I'm pretty flexible at work. Yeah, yeah. Um, and the same thing with my, you know, extra uh, curricular activities, karate and stuff like that. I can schedule whatever during the week. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anybody else have any questions? I kind of know, but I don't remember. <laughs> I told you to write it down, Sherry. I'd like to nominate Dave as the next budget committee member. Well, I think before we right. do that, we have, we, I don't think we can do nominations right now. I think we have to talk about are we going to set a different time for Sue or are we just going to? take her resume. I mean, it wasn't her fault that it was an emergency. And no, I knew she's that been might, here before. So and I I'm knew that might happen. Everybody knows you know? who it is. So I will second that motion. Well, I think what we're going to do, what I had planned on doing is Dave could leave and then we can discuss things okay. and then we can vote on it. Okay. I think that's the only fair way. Uh, point you know, of order. Um, it's very okay. intense at this time of the year, yeah. but then after, you know, um, it slows down and of course, you know, we, um, we meet once in a while, you know, during the, you know, the spring and the summer, and even though we can't do anything about the budget because the budget's already been voted on and it's the people's budget, you know, we still monitor the, the budget, but at this time of the year, um, we got a packet tonight from the town manager and it was voted on by the board of selectmen. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, to take this home, we study it and right. that another time, yeah. you know, and, and talk about it. Yeah. And we usually bring in like two department heads to a meeting. Okay. That way we can go over the budget. Right. To oh, us. Eli's up there. I know, Eli, yeah, I Jeanette, you had something you wanted yeah, to say? Uh, uh, we have a point of order here. We have had a motion by Sherry and a second by Lee. But the thing is, we're not going to vote on it uh, with the people uh, here. Uh, Jeanette, he has a point. There's a motion. Yeah. You have a motion and a second. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's Unless people are willing to take back their motion and their second, we have to vote on it. Okay. I don't know, does she sure want to take her, her motion back? Well, you have to take yours back too. Let's see. Right now, I'm not willing to. No. Okay. For discussion, though, I, I would like to say, though, that we need to give the other person a, a chance, you know. Um, That's how I feel. But, um, we can but table the motion. Let me, let me, we can table it till the next meeting. meeting. What I was going to say is, well, we can't table it too long. Why don't we have to leave? Well, before David leaves, a... we've got the motion, and we've either got to table got a it or vote on it. You've got a motion and a second, ask David to leave, and then we can discuss it. Yeah, well, you, can't, you can't ask him to leave. It's a public meeting. And once you've already made the motion, yeah. Uh, that's why you second meeting. a motion so there can be conversation. That's right. And you made the motion and seconded it, so he's welcome to stay. Yes. But David, did you want to make the motion to table it until the next meeting? I think Sue should get a chance to be interviewed. That's the only reason I would. I, I think too. we should. I think that's the only fair way. Right. Especially where it's an emergency. And is there an emergency? I mean, how soon do we have to? No, her mother. Oh, okay. Well, not her fault. I mean, it's. Do we have to make a decision right away? I. I don't know. I mean, we're not going to actually vote on anything for. All. No. <laughs> a while. So. Well, I think though, before we table it, we've got to vote on this motion. No. Right. 
-hmm. The motion mm -hmm. could be made to table the motion. Mm -hmm. And it goes on the table until you take it off the table. Right. Okay. I would like to just say one thing. Sue has been on the budget committee before. You remember, you remember, you remember, I was a member, you were a member. And we also have this. So we know that. We know what she does and what she's capable of. It doesn't matter. I still, still think she should be able to have an interview. Things change. David, did you make the motion to table it? No, I just suggested it. Uh, but I can make the motion. If... So you're going to ignore, ignore me with my hand up over here? I didn't know your hand was up, Sherry. You're I'm trying right to settle at this. Me. I did not know your hand was up. David, do you. Do you want to make the motion to table it? You were the one that mentioned it, and then I'll see what Sharon did. Uh, I have my hand up before you even said it. Whatever you want. Well, yeah, I will make a motion to table the nomination oh. until after the, the interviews are completed. Is there a second? I'll second. Wow. Okay, motion made by David to table. Um, the interviews until we finish no, table, the table. Action on this motion <laughs> until the interviews are finished. Okay. The table action on this motion until the interviews are finished. Seconded by Sandra Holmes. Is there any discussion? Sherry? I didn't ask. I didn't say anything. I'm done. Okay, that, that there being really no discussion. Trash? Are you serious? What? I don't know. Are you serious that you're going to conduct this this way? No comment. Okay, motion was made. Um, speaking of discussion, I just wanted to say something to David. I hope you realize we're doing this because we feel that's the only way to be fair to the other person too. Yes, no, I'm fine. Okay. Um, God. <laughs> uh, to table the motion that's on the floor uh, until we have a chance to interview the other person, is that okay? <laughs> Speak the right. name. Any it's other been persons. on the budget committee. All right. Uh, any other persons or any other people. Right, if somebody else volunteers, oh, yeah. we should interview okay. them. Okay. So if 10 more That's people true. come in and, and want to be Sherry, on the budget, please don't you interrupt. Them? Please stop. Well, that's what he was just saying. He didn't have his hand up. Sherry, you need to stop. Uh, actually, yeah, uh, but I don't think 10 other people are gonna show up. So I think, <laughs> I think we're fairly safe there. Um, it's never okay. been a great rush to join the budget committee. So. <laughs> no. <Incredible>. Okay. <laughs> All those in favor of the motion to table uh, the motion on the floor. Um, until the interviews are completed. Until what? The until interviews the are completed. Thank you. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Nay. Nay. Motion carries. Well, did the Eli vote? Oh, Eli, I'm sorry. No, the motion did not carry. Eli, I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting because you're not sitting here. <laughs> well, I'm sitting here. Right. In okay, front I didn't. <laughs> I, okay. I said all those in favor signify by saying aye. David said I. Sandra said I. I said I. You didn't say anything? Okay. Lee said nay. Cherry said nay. And what did you say? And if I say nay, it ties it up. That's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. no, Which means my motion tie. fails. That's yeah. correct. Which, yeah. that, it doesn't tie it. It's... Do what you feel is right, Eli. <laughs> 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 the motion doesn't carry if he. Right, 
Well, I do feel that um, I am going to say I in this case. Um, I would like there. I'd like things to be fair. So my vote is I. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, that's my main reason, fair process. You know. Yeah, that's and that's why I explained it to David, and I'm sure David understands. Um, David, you can stay for the rest of the meeting, or you're welcome to leave. It is definitely up to you. But you were, uh, uh, Jeanette, you have one more thing you were going to ask him. No, it was late. pronounced his last name. Oh, yeah. Oh, and I did. I pronounced it right. <laughs> <laughs> what was that again? And I think it was what you said, Eli. <laughs> How did you pronounce it? Well, not. No, that isn't. That's the German pronunciation. Yeah. So the, the American pronunciation, right, is Unangst. That's what I've been using. But the, the, the name is Angst. Unangst. So the word Angst with yeah. Un preceding it. So oh. Not yeah. always true, but that's what it means. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So let's pick a date when we could meet next so that we can settle this as soon as possible. I hate these masses. Oh, I got my glasses. Mm -hmm. Oh, sure, sure. Oh, sure. Is your phone talking back to you? Yes. Call phone. Because it's not like me. I don't know how to use it. <laughs> I know we got a calendar here somewhere here. Okay. So that's October. This is November. How much? Well, November 12th is out because David and Sandra and I have the historical society meeting. What uh what's the time frame for posting? Time wise. 24 mm -hmm. hours. 24 hours in two places. One can be the hours? website. Yeah. Why don't you have one on the uh, the third? That's a Tuesday night. I can. It's my sister's birthday. And it's the election. Oh, it's election. Uh, November third happens to be an election. It does. Oh yeah. <laughs> Thank you. you <laughs> be the first <laughs> time we had one, though. And <laughs> the school board meeting that night too, right? Yeah. Oh. How, oh, how that's right. It was moved. Uh, how about yeah, November tenth? No, I can't do Mondays or Thursdays. Wow. How about November 10th? I, that looks free to me. It's the day after the slot was made. Right. What about What's the on the second Tuesday of the month, David? Isn't there something? No? Uh, what nothing about comes to mind. Is it Wednesday or the fifth is uh, Friday? The school board moved there, I forget. Was it to the 17th? 17th. Okay, right. So I don't think there's anything on the tent. I know, which I, my personal opinion is we need somebody in here, ASAP, so they can start digesting this stuff. Well, I know that, but we can't just push into it either. We have to make sure that we pick a date that's good for everybody. Charlie, what, is Tuesday still bad for you or not? No. I mean, you came tonight. Uh, let's see the calendar here. No. Um, nope. Did it pull up? Yeah. What's the temp look like for you? Well, I mean, I generally don't like to come to, I mean, that's the day after selections meeting, so I have a long day on the night. I could do the 12th, but the problem is Sherry says she can't do a Monday or a Thursday. Well, we can't do the 12th. Well, the majority, well, I believe. Uh, you're the 11th. You're the well, why can't we do the 12th? Well, you just said the Ashland Historical Society involves three. Oh, of that's a, that's right. That's our annual meeting. So that's three out of the six, so that wouldn't work. Yeah. What's next Thursday? 
I had nothing on the fifth. Uh, but Sherry uh, said she can't do third. I believe, yeah. though, yeah. you know, the There's majority has. It's going to be difficult for me because I got all my Thursdays are already scheduled out all the way. Okay. So you can't change for next Thursday? I'm just, I think Sandra's just trying to get it over. No, I Thursday understand. Weekend. How about the Wednesday? Well, what I'm saying, well, what about Wednesday the fourth, then? Wednesday's fourth is planned. Uh, or not? No, that's too fast. I mean, too fast. Oh. I can't no. do it. I have too many things on my plate right now. To I'll explain to you. My brother-in-law passed away. Okay, I'm just okay. trying to get everything. Okay, so we're trying to get into the second week. Of... Second week of November, <sighs> which makes the uh, tenth. Uh, you guys, gonna, if we can't do the eleventh and we can't do the twelfth, of. Uh, the third we don't like doing Friday. Friday. Some people don't. Well, it's uh um, how about Monday the night? What's the what's wrong with Monday, the time? Monday the night Buckman's uh, meeting. Wednesday the eighteenth. I thought the Slotman's meeting was the first Monday. It is, but we moved it last night because of the election. Oh, oh I didn't get that. So the Slotman are meeting the ninth and the sixteenth? Yes. Okay. How about the eleventh then? That's Veterans Day. That's a Wednesday. No good. Veterans Day. That's a town yeah. holiday, right? It's a it's a Wednesday. Historical. That was our annual meeting, so we have to do it. There's three of us. Well, can the three of you change yours? No, well, you're one we of the can't. Three. You're one of the three. <laughs> well, can we we change? can't. That's annual meeting. That's when we and have Sherry to go can't make it either. So and so now we get back to the tenth. That's a Friday night. What was wrong with the tenth? What about the 13th? Charlie said that. Oh, right. Okay. I mean, you don't need me to be there the 10th. I mean, I can try to make it. But, if, but don't by any means. Actually, you know what? We don't really, although I like you having, having you here, Charlie, because you prepare it. And then if we have any questions, you can answer them for us. That's my only thing. Could we schedule maybe. A are we trying to move into the budget right now? I mean, at that next meeting? Yeah, we're trying to work on the budget. I mean, too. let me ask you this. If you do it on the 10th, does it have to be at 5 o'clock? No, it doesn't matter care. to me. It doesn't care. Doesn't what care. time would you want it? I mean, it's it just the 9th. But those are long days. I mean, the selectman meeting can go to right 8, 9 o'clock. And then to so, turn around to have another, you know, and I come in at 8 o'clock. It's just a, it's just a long What are you day. saying? So, the 10th would be OK if it was later? No, earlier. No. earlier. It'd be helpful if it was earlier. I mean, I could certainly. I can do I can do any time. I can do 4 p.m. if somebody wants to or 3 p.m. What time were you thinking, Charlie? It's it's up to you guys. It's no, what really... time were you thinking? Well, sometimes, I mean, we meet. It can be any time between, what, 12 and 3, right, Eli? What, what Eli, would be fine. You... Let's, I would prefer 3. I mean, uh, um, three? it would get Charlie out by 5. Five. How does everybody feel about three o'clock on the town? And the other thing is, is like the day after the selectman meetings for us are kind of busy because that's when the decisions come down and but uh, three you know, we have to push, you? we have to push stuff through. Uh, so. Is three o'clock good yeah, for you? Sure. Sandra? It's fine. Uh, David? Well, I can make it. I was just wondering about Sherry. Wouldn't she be working? Um, I don't know. She said Monday and Thursday, so I'm not going to worry about it. We have to do what the majority can do. Lee, can you do three o'clock? I can do it, but I think it's only you need to get Sherry here too. I can't. Well, hopefully she can. She's not here right now, so I can't ask her. I know the other question I was going to ask. Okay, so wait a minute. Go ahead. So David, three is good with him. Three is good with you. Three is good with me. Lee said he'd make it. Eli said he'd make it. So let's plan on the tenth at three o'clock. Okay. Uh, the thing is, is can our candidates make it? Well, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to call her tonight. Hopefully, she'll answer because of I know she's got things on a plate. But I'll call tonight. Um, she should be able to make it. Um, you know, because she's not working or anything. So, there's any schedule like that. 
<laughs> Eli, I will send an email out late tomorrow and let everybody know, okay? That would be nice. Another possibility I was just thinking of is, is there some part of the budget that Charlie doesn't have to be here? I mean, like we could call in the public works director instead and Hmm. Maybe you don't need to be. There. Right. I don't know. You may want to be there. Well, maybe. I think on the tenth we're going to get this over with and work on the budget, and then we'll start figuring out about the department head. I mean, what are we going to do? On the budget? Just go over the budget. I don't think the tenth we can bring department heads, and I don't think we're ready for it yet. No. We want to make sure we have the new person on the board. Okay. And Charlie still has to maintain a presence because of of being able to get it out on Zoom. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Thank you, Charlie. Okay. Thanks, David, though. I, I appreciate it. So um, <laughs> if it's a consensus to have it the 10th at 3 p.m., Charlie, you said you could, Eli, yeah. David, yeah. Lee said he would, Sandra can, I will, I will uh, text Sherry to see if she can, uh, and I will call Sue. Ooh. Yeah, okay. Does that sound good to everybody? Sure. Okay. Okay. I don't know how to take that off. <laughs> it's not my husband. We talked though. about the general line for the welfare director. Uh, Lee, did you think about your other question? You said you no, had sorry. another Go question. I'm all right. No. Charlie, do you have another one of these that David could have? Sure. I have mine. Uh, <laughs> uh, Jeanette? Would you pass it through, please? You have Look mine. Look at David. He's right beside you. <laughs> it's, um, yeah. He can have the copies that you made for me. And the library isn't in there. Is the library in here? I see. Library's in there. So he doesn't need this. Yeah. Uh, well, that no, that part's not in there. Right. Okay. The explanation is. Yeah, I was printed out before. Okay. There is an extra library one in here. I just gave them. I had two. Library. All right. I good. printed two out. You have one on dates. I've got one on the dates. Ooh, I wonder if I brought my dates with me. Thanks, I might have. I gave, that's yeah. all right. I gave it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I got my dates here or not. I do. So you have one now? I do. Okay. Lee, did you print out yours for the dates okay. that he gave us? No, he gave me one. Okay. David, you probably have one, right? Um, I think it Thanks for the 2021 <laughs> meeting. I, I was emailed to us, so I have it available as an email. Charlie had it in photo with what I picked up. Oh. Budget too. What is the last oh, here it is. Yes, I have it. date for petition law and articles? It's in January somewhere. Like is it in, it Second Tuesday. Yeah. yeah. It's in there. Okay. It is in here. Second Tuesday, January, I think. Right. January yes, 12th. it's in January. Yeah. January I put up my petition. Okay. Have you gotten many petition line articles in there? Uh, two, the nonprofits. I think two nonprofits. And I have one, but I forgot it tonight. But... Yeah, you'd want to give it to Patsy, anyways, the clerk. Okay, Lee, did you, yeah. did yeah. you remember? I I got another question. Oh, okay. Got, David, you said that uh, the trustees, the current trustees, have dropped the insurance right. on the building. The double insurance, yeah, the extra insurance. Is that is that building being insured now? By primary. Yes. yes. Okay. Now that insurance that you have now on it does that cover the inside, the contents of the in, contents mm -hmm. of the mm -hmm. inside too? Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. Covers all town property. Mm -hmm. yes, it does. Did you have to increase it all once they dropped? No, they they assess it. No, I mean once the Scrimmer trustees were not insuring it, did yours go up at all or no? No. No, everything's fine with yeah. that. Okay. 
No, because it was already insured. They bought supplemental, uh, sort of like a backup policy. If I, if I'm correct, yeah, I, I don't know. know. It was what didn't see much point to it. They probably they probably have an umbrella policy to cover a lot of things. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, All right. Does anybody have any other questions? Well, I do. Um, I have a question. Actually, it involves data. Um, which one? This is going to be confusing. <laughs> I can go by this data. data. <laughs> uh, and I don't know the answer to this, but we've never had someone who was an alternate on the budget committee. And I don't know whether or not there is, um, I was going to look it up and I can call, you know. Um, I think there were alternates. There is like for the school board. Right, no, but I'm not specific. talking individually. No, I know. I mean, I'm there is one about the committee itself. Yeah. I don't believe the law allows for alternates, does it? it does I'm it state it? Work. Well, you can only have alternates if the state the legislature says you can have alternates. You can't just make up new positions. Does it state it that you can't? Yeah. Hmm? Just a minute. It would have to, it would be when it was established, Sandra however the article was unless it's somewhere in the uh the rsa what i don't right. know off the top of my head what rsa uh, yeah, well 32. it's 39 is it 32 I I was, 30, no, isn't it 39 or 32 32 39 was i believe i don't recall well we everything. could always call the new hampshire municipals well uh, i'm asking because you know everybody's concerned that you know on one of the nights you know sherry can't make it and if yeah, David, yeah, I know what you mean, Sandra. What you're saying is, if someone can't make it, then the alternate could take their place. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have an alternate mm -hmm. on the school board. Yeah. I mean, you know, and David, and just looking at his resume, talking to David, I think David would be an asset on the budget committee. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that Sue would not, yeah. but I'm saying that David would. And if David can be an alternate, he can be here. An alternate can speak and can put his input into, you know. Um, there is a, oh, there it is. Right there. Yeah. Uh, uh, budget, the next one. Uh, the the membership. There you go. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Three to 12 members. Like, yeah. So it had to, it's, however, the article was written when it was on the warrant that established a voting budget committee. Well, it's but essentially that, been not, amended. Right. Yeah, because we voted it. It was what I like think nine we people had nine before, members, right? And yeah. now we voted it down. So. Yeah, yeah. To seven. But yeah. I'm not talking about a member. I'm talking about an alternate. Yeah, but like I said, you'd have to have it had to, have be, to, put that in have to be in the article that yeah. they were, the way the committee was established. We actually yeah. voted it down to five yeah. and then five at large. Right. And mm -hmm. then you from the school board and Eli from the uh, mm -hmm. assortment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I've never heard of an alternate to the budget. Yeah. Well, I haven't either, no, but, it's you know. Fire. Yeah, it is. It's a good idea. So we both, the time voted down I to agree. five. Yeah, I, that'd be a great it's idea. It's five at I large, think, and then yeah. one from the school board and one from the yeah. slot. Which but, is a state But what you're thinking is more uh, planning board. Planning board has. No, we're short one. Oh, I know. But I've been on planning, yes. Oh. Um, and I do. Yeah. I've been on planning mm -hmm. One, two, three. Sherry's four. Oh, four. I'm um, and sorry. then we have one vacancy. Sorry. Right. <laughs> That's all right. right. I'm not going <laughs> to. No, I'm, you know, I'm yeah. the liaison from school board. It's a good idea, but the legislature has to approve it first. So mm -hmm. You can't just create alternates, create new positions. You've talked with New Hampshire Municipal. Would I'm you like call to call tomorrow. them for me tomorrow? David, would you be willing to do that? I think you'd be an asset on the board. Yeah. I mean, I'm B not saying you that you wouldn't it. be voted in. Mm -hmm. I mean, you may be voted 15, in. Yeah. So, well, either one of them but, would be an asset. But, right. but right. yes, and um, either you be an alternate or Sue. Sure, after the election. Right. Yes, yep. yes. And um, to have your input and all to have Sue's input, I think would be an asset mm -hmm. to all of us. So can you call tomorrow? I'll call tomorrow and uh, just let me know either email me or call me on the phone. Mm -hmm. And see, I, I believe an alternate would be 
I think it would be great because if David was here as an alternate or Sue was here as an alternate and due to the fact that Sherry just walked out and left. Yeah, they could, you know, they could, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. They could step right in. Yeah. Yeah. David, did you say something? Well, I was just thinking, you know, the reason we peered down the number of the budget committees because people weren't volunteering, so we're running, so. Well, we're not, we're still having the same number. It's just that rather than having an empty seat, we would have some fill that, someone fill that seat. For that night, yeah, you can't sure. do it. Tonight. I'm pretty sure you can't. The RSA is right there. Yeah, it really can't. So do you it. don't think? No, it's right, I mean, I'm going to call. It says it right there. What Three to it? twelve members at large who are elected or appointed by the moderator as the town or district adopting provisions. Da 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 da. Right. One member of the governing body of the municipality and of the municipality is a town, one member of the school board of mm -hmm. each school district, mm -hmm. wholly within the town, and one member of each village district, wholly within the town, all of whom should be appointed there by their respective boards to serve for a one a term of one year until the successors are qualified. Each such member may be represented by an alternate member designated by the respective board. Da, 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 da. That's why you have a school board representative and, and then the you select, have board. select board members. And alternates. For them. But, and they're alternates. Those are the only alternates allowed. Yeah. And the thing is, I think it's a good idea, though, if Sandra checks into it, because sure. she's right. If someone can't make it, that's an empty seat, and that means somebody won't be voting. Right. Are you are you still on Eli? I yes. certainly am. You know, uh, Eli, Charlie covered up your face. <laughs> That's <laughs> fine. I don't mind. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Sandra's got a pretty decent idea, uh, suggestion here. Why don't the board of selectmen put it on as a warrant article to have an alternate for the budget committee? Because you'd have to have an advisory. Yeah, we don't. Well, um, if, if, no, if it's, if it's no. put up by warrant article. Yeah, is it? No. No, towns can only okay. do what the states allows you to do. Yeah. If okay. they don't allow that's alternates, that's it. You know. uh, All right. We, when we would run that by legal, legal would say you can't do it. Yeah. Okay. I think so, too. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I have to look into whether or not you can if you're an advisor, but you're an elected. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does yeah. anybody have any preferences to what department heads we do first? Uh, no. Okay. No. I mean, Charlie, Charlie's going to be here on the third, on three o'clock on the 10th. You might as well start right on the front. I don't <laughs> think we should actually start the, start the 10th. I think we need to get you know the new member voted in and then get that new member acquainted to you know the paperwork the budget and everything else and then we can plan on doing the department head okay so that's all we're going to do on the 10th is go, go over the budget go over the budget with charlie uh what do you mean go over the budget with charlie like we do i mean line by line or whatever you want that's what I'm saying. Start with the executive. When you have any questions, start with the executive. It's right there. Well, we could go over his. You're right. right. We could yeah. go over his. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm, I'm sorry. Like, okay. I misunderstood you. Right. Yeah, we could do that. But I do have another question. Was it one that you were supposed to write down, or was it a different one? <laughs> well, I don't have it written down. Okay. Right now. <laughs> um, when the DRA mm -hmm. suggests what the tax rate should be. Mm -hmm. DRA doesn't suggest the tax rate. Well, they'll they no. No. well who is it that you sent stuff down to and they look at it and tell you the, what we suggest. So what happens is the town votes on the budget. Once the articles are passed, we tell DRA what passed and what didn't. Those are all the appropriations. Mm -hmm. That means all the total appropriations get added up. And then we give them an estimated revenue where we think the revenues might be. Mm -hmm. The revenues minus the appropriations is the tax levy. That's how much the tax collector has to take take in. And this is this is for the town, the schools, uh, the county, and um, the state level, right? That gets set in the fall, right? So we reassess it 
she gets the first billing in June, and then in in October, right about now, when the um, the total assessed value of all the properties uh, in town is accumulated, then DRA finalizes the revenue that they're going to give to the towns, and that's when they set the selectmen set the tax rate. Right. They, but it gets suggested by DRA. No. No, the area doesn't suggest anything to us. It's up to us. On That's not what I've heard in the past. It's always come in and everybody blames the DRA for setting the tax rate. No. Am I wrong? How much we appropriate? No, the, the Board of Selectmen select, the Board of Selectmen set the tax rate for the town. The county sets their own tax rate. The school sets mm -hmm. their tax rate because whether or not how much they use of their funds to lower the revenue and what they come up with the budget is what sets helps set the rate. When are you planning on setting the tax rate? Well, we just finalized the MS1 today. Uh, I was going to say. Yeah, the MS1, MS1 just barely got done. Uh, the assessors and Patsy are finalizing that up for the selectmen to sign. And then we're still waiting to hear back from DRA to finalize their state revenue. There's a there's a section in the in the revenue that's that's from the state. Mm -hmm. And usually they call me about this time of year and say, okay, this is what you're getting in meals and rooms tax, or this is what you're getting in. Uh, well, that's the way I've learned. We've been, we've been told many times before that DRA says the tax rate should be twenty dollars. No. No. And then it's up to the board of selectmen. To either accept it, increase it, or decrease it. Right. Right. The only thing the selectmen have the decision on is whether or not they take from unassigned fund balance to reduce, which is uh, its revenue, to add more revenue to it to reduce the levy. And then when the tax levy is reduced, it will change the rate. The two things that change the rate is the rev the budget, revenue, assessment. Mm -hmm. Assessment gets divided into the, the levy to get to the rate. Because then you have the county one, which you can't do a thing about. Yeah, I mean, well, I unless you go to the meeting, that's it. And the school this is, it all about. starts, the whole process starts with this, your budget. Well, that's what I'm saying. And what I'm talking yeah. about is this. I know the next, year's are, next year's yeah, process. Uh, uh, Jeanette, we can do something. Uh, the budget committee can do something about the school tax rate. Uh, the school rate, yeah. uh, school budget. Yeah, yeah. Budget. I was talking about the selectmen when they about, set yeah. the uh, tax. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, thank you, Eli. So the higher the assessment changes the rate for you know in your budget, right? That's why a lot of the waterfront properties that have you know the towns that have waterfront properties have a high assessment and a lower rate. Right. right? Like Moultonboro is a real low rate. That's yeah, yeah. yeah. Moultonboro. Yeah. Everybody's yeah. lower than us. Yeah. Yeah. That's that that lowers the rate for some. No, I think Plymouth is higher, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. Yes, Plymouth is higher. But of course, you you know, but of course, your budget, your budget's a factor in all of that. You know, your budget's a factor in all that. Yeah. Your revenue. Yeah. But you take that. Yeah. Okay. But also, what's a great factor is your undesignated funds. And being yeah. on the school board, I know that every year, yeah. the school board, you know, um, we vote to you know um in our in our funds to yeah. give it back yeah. you know to the town yeah. well the town has over a million, over, over a million dollars yeah. it takes possibly probably 265 yeah. to yeah, offset the dollar. taxes by yeah. a dollar right. so the dra mm -hmm. recommends that you only keep a certain amount. Yes. Yeah, now, if you have different. right, and if you have over a million dollars, that certainly exceeds what the DRA. No. Rec no, 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 it's not. It's five between seventeen percent. Last year, we had about eight hundred thousand. We're about ten percent. DRA recommends five to seventeen percent. But just because they recommend that doesn't mean you That's have to correct. do it. That's I remember correct. when I was selectman, yeah. and I think Sandra might have been on there. Yeah. We had ten thousand dollars in that fund, and yeah. we did fine. Well, it, all I can say is if you, you go over, no, if you go over your bottom line, you go to DRA and you ask them for permission to expend more. And where they say to take it from 
is you're unassigned. So if you have less than 5% and you need $500,000 for, I don't know, some type of emergency, well, you better hope why, it's there. That's why we need to be careful. But what is your it. bottom line? That's why we need to be My careful. My bottom line? Our, yeah. our bottom line? Yeah. What is your bottom line? The bottom line is $2.9 Three hundred ninety-nine thousand five hundred. All right. So say it's three last million. year's was two point nine four mm -hmm. seven. So say you have oh, three million. Point. You're not going to go over your bottom line by five hundred thousand dollars. True. So it's very easy yeah. to take two hundred and sixty-five thousand from over a million dollars to have and offset the taxes by a dollar. Sure, you can. Sure. But. But it's been brought up at a slotman's meeting before. I'm uh, Eli, I'm not sure you were on the board then. I don't think you were. But uh, I had brought up that, you know, they should use some of that money to decrease the tax yeah, rate because sure. the townspeople can't afford it. But they never would. Especially this year. Right. Especially this year. Right. Especially this year. Right. Yeah. Okay. Lee? You just said, and, and I agree with the bottom line, 2.9 million. Yeah. Let's call it three million. I did. Okay. You got right? no. Let's call it three million. Mm -hmm. Sure. You got a million back. No, that's thirty-three percent. Right. Not twelve or thirteen percent. That's thirty-three. No, it's thirteen percent of the whole entire general fund. I'm just looking. At I mean, I look. I, 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 you know, it's not my decision. It's it's no, your understand. folks' opinion on that philosophy. My approach and my recommendation would not be to lower the tax rate because you have to make that money up the next year. The town has other needs, I think, when it comes to capital and infrastructure. I'd rather take the NSI and fund uh, the infrastructure and the capital needs of all the departments. You have capital reserve funds that are probably $3 million that need to be funded for uh, future expenditures. You're still going to need a police car. You're still going to need a truck for DPW. You're still going to need an ambulance. And mm -hmm. These need to be funded. So if you go ahead and your approach and decrease the tax rate, two hundred fifty thousand dollars, that money's gone. Doesn't right? matter. You and then, you, but then money. you still have to make it up the following year. You still have enough money in there. And then you still have to. You still going to have those departments that are going to come and say, "Look, I need a five hundred thousand dollar fire engine." I need a hundred and twenty-five thousand dollar truck. That's why. And if you don't fund your capital that's reserves, for example, budget. then that's taxation. Charlie, no, that's why I disagree with you, Charlie. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's 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 your philosophy and your opinion. I wasn't trying I'm to. Just, I know. I'm just saying. Agree. I mean, this in, is, in the end, I'm just trying to explain a different approach how you you fund your capital infrastructure here. Leo, I'll call on you in just a minute. But mm -hmm. Eli has heard how the budget. Um, how many of us feel about the tax rate. So I'm sure he can take that all in and right. he can yeah. present. Again, that. and as I've been saying all, all night, will be we reduce discussion. your budget. Like I didn't hear you, Eli, what? It will be a discussion. Thank you. Yeah. And if I remember correctly, the budget committee increased the budget last year from what we recommended. We and again, and again, we, we just, I've been saying it five times tonight, we just reduced the budget. So you want to talk about taxes, a reduced budget will help reduce your taxes. But the, the philosophy we... of all this tonight was when we prepared the budget, it was that, look, it was the front of the first things I said to the selectmen. I understand wholeheartedly that COVID is going to cause I think a recession. We need to help out the we need to help out the community as much as we can, mm -hmm. and we need to take probably risk and chances in reducing this budget. Mm -hmm. There's a lot in here that we really kind of stuck our neck out that said, "Look, if this happens, we're going to have to figure it out." It's not easy to just go ahead and reduce the budget, right? Mm -hmm. And especially and in, in to take care, compensate your employees to keep your staff in order. Uh, <clears throat> So there's certain things that we had, the approach that we had to take. Charlie, right? the, I just want to say the reason we increased the budget last year, I want to, so that David will know, mm -hmm. the reason we increased the budget, because when the selectmen gave raises, they did not right. give the same raises to other people. Right. Some they gave less and we didn't, you know, we wanted to make sure that those raises were right. in there. And that was the reason we increased it. I know. But so I'm just saying on one hand, I'm being 
told that we should cut taxes, but on the other hand, <laughs> you know, increase in the budget increases taxes. Because you know what, the budget isn't what is the biggest concern as far as the tax rate. Right. Yeah. So it's a it's a collective that's on the warrant. So furthermore, there's a hundred thousand dollars that's coming off the warrant for the fire engine. That's no longer there. Right. That would that should be paid off by the end of the year. That's a significant decrease mm -hmm. to the tax levy. There's forty thousand dollars for the uh, thirty nine thousand dollars for the GIS that's coming off. Yeah. Well, that Eli, we take that we took that from unassigned fund balance. There wasn't tax unassigned, so it was not yeah. tax. It was not tax related. Right. The other thought is my initial thought is to fund some of the capital reserve funds through unassigned. See, it's the same thing. I mean, either take on a sign to reduce your taxes or you turn around and ask for the money from the town. Mm -hmm. So you either ask for the vote one way or the but other, the it's still is, the same thing. And you know, the town usually votes these in Jack. I, I, mean, I was just gonna you know, say they that always the voted sad in. thing is so <laughs> many things are just voted in. Yeah. And that's where the money is. Right. And so, so it's not our fault that the town votes all of them in. That too, yeah. So, Lee, did you have another question? I have one more. Yeah. Can we get a? I'd like to see a written opinion from the town attorney. You got four separate budgets, right? Okay, I'd like to see what he has to say about putting 10% minimum on each budget because we got one department yeah. that is over 10% every year. Well, so the first of all, the attorney works for the board of selectmen. So if you want a legal opinion from the town attorney, you have to go to the selectmen and have them request that. He won't just go ahead Eli, and do it. You hear that? <laughs> so to be clear, now a couple of years ago, there was someone that put forward an article about a tax cap. Mm -hmm. So I think that's what you're talking about. Is no, tax cap. no, 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 no. I'm talking about you have four separate budgets. Yeah. So the taxable portion right. can go has a ten percent. Yeah. Electric has a ten percent. The water has a ten percent. The sewer has. I don't know how you would do it on the utilities. To be honest with you, well, uh, DRA. When it comes to the utilities. DRA's never really given me any feedback. I mean, they they don't care about expenditures unless you go over the bottom line on the town side because there's taxation. When it comes to utilities, we literally, when we put together the MS2 after the vote, electric department says 3 million, we go to the revenue and it's the same number. So it's a complete wash. And if you don't, then that's taxation. That's it. Well, this is exactly how we do it. Again, I go back to the fact that yeah. there's departments in the water departments, one that they're spending more money than they're bringing in. I realize there was an assessment right. that you had hired somebody to yeah. set yeah. things up. Yeah. But the same thing with the electric, in my opinion, yeah. they're overspending right. big time um, until we can get the final fingers together. But what I'm trying to say is, is the sewer department. Yeah. Since I've been on the budget committee, yeah. it's well over 10% every year. Yeah. Well, I mean, then, but, yeah, they're spending into their reserves. But, but sure. Yeah, but the thing of it is, is you have, it doesn't make any difference whether they got the reserves or not. You've got a 10% override yeah. Yeah. on the budget. Right. The thing yeah. of it is, if you have other departments covering for them on that override, well, I don't know about that. They're not transferring money. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I'd be asking. That's all. I don't know. I, I think I'm pretty sure I know the answer right now, but I'm just asking. I, I mean, the 10% limitation is, is what the yeah. people can vote. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah, on the bottom line of the town's budget. Right. right. Yeah. 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 Right. But what I'm saying yeah. is you have three separate budgets you're voting on. Right. Right. Yeah. I mean, four. I'm sorry. Sure. Four. Utilities have to produce the utility, you know, they have to keep working. I mean, uh, what, no matter what it costs. And I it's going to be. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, if some a pipe blows or the substation goes, Doesn't I mean, you're going to overspend. Well, well, yeah. The electric department didn't even have a bulb to replace, you know, I mean, it's, I, I don't know what's happening with them, which is amazing. I, I can't believe the electric department. I don't know what's happening there. Okay, I mean, 
I don't know. I don't know how to explain know. that one. I mean, there's yeah, I mean and I can tell you the substation's about ready to go. If that, I mean, we're looking and into the probably substation. Probably in a couple of years, you're you going to be spending meters. a lot of money yeah. for the sewer, right? There's, yeah. The substation is not ready to go. Yeah. You need to bring somebody in and put new seals on the caps mm -hmm. up on top mm -hmm. of those two transforms, and it'll be fine. They've known about that, and they keep ignoring it. Mm -hmm. One of these days, yes, they're going to blow up. If they do, I hope it doesn't come up to my house. Mm -hmm. If if they do, you're going to spend at five hundred thousand buying two new transformers, and you're going to wait well over a year to get them. What happened today with no electricity? I don't know. Was it the, it wasn't oh. the whole town? No, there's there, there was an outage on North Ashland Road yeah. for twenty minutes. It's probably a fuse. It's either a fuse or a squirrel got into the transformer. Yeah. <laughs> That's typical. Usually what it is. Well, One thing about Ashland is when we lose power, we don't lose it for very long, which is really good. Because some towns yeah. lose it for two and a half days, yeah. three days. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I yeah. agree. Uh, the town's very fortunate to have their own linesmen that can respond to that. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're absolutely right. If you're in another community, you just wait. I'm glad mine's all underground. <laughs> <laughs> is Dale back working now? Yes. So, David, do you have any other questions? No. I'd like to know why he was at the house today, though. Me, do you? No. You'll think about it when you get home. Well, no, I'm questions for next time, I guess. No, no. I'll have an answer for you as far as. Okay, yeah, make know. sure you get back to me on that. I put it as a note. David, yeah. do you have any questions? I don't think so. we're going to meet on the 10th at 3 p.m. Mm -hmm. Anybody on set with that? Kelly yeah. and I'll make sure it's posted. I put it in the uh, post office. I did the other one. I posted on the door of the electric department outside. I taped it. Charlie puts it at the town office. Nadine puts it on the website. There's so nobody at the electric department though. I know. Oh. I still put it down. There is. People still go there to pay the bills. Well, yeah, they, 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 the they put it in the thing. In oh, the they put it in the sign. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, there's no mail slot at the town hall anymore. We got a new door. Yeah, it's right. coming. You're going to have a mail slot? We yeah. have a problem, then. That's why people said they couldn't turn their voter thing in. They shouldn't do that. Their anyway. ballot. They can. Put it in the mail slot. Uh, well, yeah. I don't know. The town clerk said don't do that. No, I wouldn't do it either. <laughs> no. Legally, they can. <laughs> if it's, well, they if can it's yours, it if it's yours, but you can't drop off for someone for else. Yeah. So I don't know. I thought you had to deliver it to the town clerk in person. No. No? Well, I got to see too. Can Charlie, can somebody pick up a ballot for somebody else? Mm, well, I, don't I don't know. Fucking Mama Cole fell. And she's not able to go yeah, get she it. Yeah, she called. I don't know. She I called. I, I, I talked to that one. I think. Yeah. I, I, that's all, I, I don't think know. You I don't know. No. I think you can, but you have to sign, sign on off. You have to sign off. Okay. I know you have to sign off if you drop yeah. off or something. Yeah. Okay. So I'd assume it's the same way. Yeah. Are there any other questions or concerns? Uh, I, I, I do have a concern. Yeah. I have a concern as to the behavior of Sherry. And I think it needs to be addressed. You know, she talks out of turn. Um, she's not very polite. She walked out today. She I talks think, under her breath. I think her behavior is unacceptable, and I think it needs to be addressed. There's no way to address it. Yes, there is a way to address it. If I behaved like that at a school board meeting, how long do you think I would last? Actually, what could they do about you? You can ask her to leave. You can ask her to leave, but she doesn't have to. She left anyway. Okay. But yes, she does. If the chairman says you need to leave, she has to leave. It has it has to be addressed. That's right. That's right, David. I, I don't think you have that power. Yes, you yes, do, you because do. you run the meeting. And if she is upsetting the meeting and causing problems, then you can ask her to leave. And she has to leave. I like to see a legal. No, nope, I already checked into it. With, with who? I'll get a legal. With New opinion. Hampshire Municipal, I checked into it a couple of years ago because Sherry was the same way. <laughs> yeah, 
Uh, and the sad thing is, it, 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 it's just not right because then everybody else is, isn't the same as they were when they came in here. When she acts that way, it just ruins the whole night. And David, I want to apologize to you for the way that she acted because that is so uncalled for. Mm. Well, you know it's going to happen, so. No, it doesn't have to happen. Yeah. Sandra's right. I think the behavior is unacceptable. Mm. Well, you want a solution already. Well, you ask it over here. Yeah. That's... I don't, don't misunderstand me, but I sit over here and I said it last week. The two of you bark, bark at each other back and forth. I try not to leave. She starts the whole thing. I'm Did speaking, I? I'm speaking and you're interrupting me, aren't you? No. Oh, okay. How was everything tonight? <laughs> you saw it tonight. Did I do anything? I'm talking about last week. You guys, the two of you, since day one, and I've been on the budget committee, what you really need to do is go in the gym and dupe it out. No, Sherry's sure, sure always been like that. Well, what I'm saying is you guys bark back and forth with each other. Mm. Sherry's always been like that at every meeting, even when David was chairman. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's always like that. Well, I, I'm just... And I and I, I agree. That so I, I believe it's unacceptable behavior. And I agree. Can you take that off so I can see Lee's face, uh, Eli's face a minute, please? Oh, it's just the name. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to look up the statue for you. Eli, did you uh, hear what Sandra from office said? Is really tough. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Just because. Okay. Yes. Just because. Just because my picture wasn't there. Um, doesn't mean that I wasn't able to observe you. Okay, I, I you me. know, when I see your face covered up, I'm not sure you can hear what we're saying. Oh, I can. Okay, okay. Anybody else? Eli, do you have anything to say? Uh, not now. <laughs> Sally? No, ma'am. Okay, then I'm going to adjourn the meeting at 6.47 p.m. We almost made it to 7.